name is <coughs> my name is Christopher Johnson. Uh, how are you? Um, student at Charles Southern University. Charles gave me a kiss on Love my mom. Oh man, okay. I believe in myself. Uh, my name is CJ. Uh, your name is Christopher Johnson. <laughs> you forget, man. I don't. I hate cameras, man. My name is uh, Christopher Johnson. Uh, go to Charles Southern University. Graphic design major. Like to paint a little bit. Uh, this is so exquisite. Sure, sure, sure. Why would you? I feel like you're gonna put all of this on there. That is not okay. <laughs> it's not okay. Our name is uh, Cole Peace at K O L P E A C E. Are you still going? Okay, wait. Take, take, beep, take, beep. <laughs> I'm a clown, man. I can't, I can't get nothing done. Oh, uh, so exquisite. Charleston Magazine, best in the world. Oh, you can call me, uh, what's my art name? Check it out. Yeah. Got started at uh, Charleston Southern University. I'm a student there. Still, go Bucks. Um, I uh, started with my dorm uh, painting on uh, canvases I found at like, Walmart. And from there on, I tried to create an art that was just mine. And I really wanted to make something that was, you know, beneficial to everybody, not just students or not just uh, a young crowd, it's just everybody. So I created all of these, you know. Uh, just with that soul type music, man, like James Brown and Nat King Cole, and then you get some like who else, uh, Lil Richard, and just 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 mix it together, and then you go on to hip hop, and then you go on to gospel, and then you do country, maybe, and then you do rock and roll, and then you go. To, I even did EDM. Give me help, man. And he is the brains behind everything. Say it. You want another one? But no. But every time I make something, I actually do it for them um, all the time. So, so what do you think about like fire? Like when you see fire, what do you? What's your first thing thought that comes to fire? Like um, when you see like a uh, flame. Um, uh, I don't know. I just think of heat. Heat. What else? Um. I think of like destruction and damage. Is that like sick or is that Wow. <laughs> no, it's it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Um fire is like fire is that passion. That, that passion and like when people ask for like what's the best like revenge, you ask them what do you think about fire? And they say, Oh, like you said, destruction, heat and everything. But uh, that fire is actually fire is actually saving something. Um, if you think about it, um, it has it has a passion to it. It has love to it. Uh, that redness, that old cozy to that one thing, is a beautiful thing. Actually, you know, yeah, that's fine. Hold on, I'll show you. Uh, it's be fun. What is this? Okay. So people think of fire. They, they think it's like it, it will hurt you. It will, it will get, I mean, it will, will <laughs> obviously it will hurt your skin, but if I, if I has its own key, like love to it, it has, it has a feel to it. Like you can't you know, force it, you no know, harm it because even with water, people think of water with grace and all that, that that book talk and all that, you know, that niceness stuff. But water, water hurts people too. But people don't automatically say that when they first see water, just like fire. Fire is automatic, just like with black and white. Like, oh, it's so peaceful in this unity. Then you got black that's just like, mm, I love black. Black is a beautiful color. Come on, man, yeah. But with fire, man, it's like you you have like a whole thing with it. Turn up the People are so scared of fire, they, they, they calmly just just look at it and it's like, oh, it's gonna hurt people. And then you have like this whole rendition of it, and then you just 
<laughs> you can hold fire, like literally, you can hold it. Or I wish I had my lighter. People, <laughs> people see fire and they get scared, but it, it's, it won't hurt you, like, it won't hurt you if you don't, like, you know, if you don't force it, like, I, I, I have pain, I be having pain on my hand all the time, but then I use uh, elements like spray paint, like fire, like, all that mess, all that, all that stuff, because uh, I care about it, you know, it's, it's not just, it's not a show, like, it's not, it's not something that's supposed to entertain people. It actually is supposed to make people feel something. Yeah, I do feel that heat against my face. I do feel that heat on my hand. I, I've literally took my finger and you know, it's been like lit as a flame and they they be like, what are you doing? <laughs> but I don't feel it immediately. You know, it takes me a while and then I just calmly just wipe it off or just calmly just make it disappear. But um Um, I honestly don't say or try and uh, depict my work from other people, man. They, uh, everyone has beautiful work. Everyone has really nice work. But you have people who like art or care. Or, oh, you know, think it's a cool fad because nowadays there's this, there's this, this fad of doing. And don't get me wrong. Uh, there's nothing wrong with African American art. There's nothing wrong with doing it, but. It's a constant uh, remake of artists, you know, with similar work, um, but it's in their style, which is really, it's, you know, it's cool and everything. But when you buy, blindfold somebody, you tell them, you know, you have to paint this, paint whatever you paint, but you go, you have to paint it to save your life. <laughs> you know, it's when you put on the spot, it's kind of hard to do that, and. That that's my that's that's literally my 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 spiel. When you, when you put on the spot, when you got to do it right then and there, when you got to take that canvas out the trunk, and you got to make some money. To, <laughs> you got to do something. Or you got to you got to make somebody happy. You got to just make it happen, man. That's that's one of those things that's different than the normal artist than than just the normal. Because honestly, I don't know what to call it. Nobody knows what to call it yet because there, there's no term for just just freestyle. You know, I call it freestyle art. Uh, there's no such thing as it, but I freestyle a lot of my work um, because it, it makes me happy. One, um, not because it's different from anybody else, because uh, God, God knows He knows that He knows me, and He knows that I'm not this gift is not given to everybody. Um, but I never, I never see my work as different. Just unique, I guess. I don't know. It, uh, it de it depends on it depends on how the person is trying to like get to work uh, to get the message across. You you got okay for example you got Peter Paul Rubens who is an artist back in like seventeen maybe eighteen maybe eighteen hundreds uh, type of artist who created these uh, romanticism type of paintings where you got people reaching out and and these these whims of beautiful cloth, but then you have artists. You know, African American artists, um, just 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 random people who who make artists of more expression in the uh, expressionistic type rhythm, um, banging off the Harlem Renaissance. I love it. I love the Harlem Renaissance. I, I most of my art literally is kind of created off of the Harlem Renaissance. And then people forget. You know, people now they they trying to you know put up things that you know trying to make it seem like oh I'm all about the and but <laughs> those people will fall, they have a passion for what they've done. Once you have that passion, then your artists get respect, and then you have that respect thing. Like that's why it's two separate rooms right now because this is this is the part that artists don't want to do. They don't want to sit down all day and come up with uh, 
uh, business world where you have to be the next day and you have to you know modernize business or, or balance out the sheet they don't want to do that they just want to paint sell work or uh, hope like hope and then but hope but then without faith you know that's just how you, how you gonna make something happen but they you get that respect of art period like scratch out the black art part because it's, it's art period and they deserve respect but you gotta earn it you gotta work for that respect um, I think that's really what all of those artists work for regardless of if it's if black or white you know and being a student at Charles the Southern is is a beneficiary of somewhere around that picture because yes I'm an African American student but my art has been seen by literally all those students at this school I outside of being a graphic design major outside of those people at the art building you know we and it's small it's not coc size it's not all that type of stuff but you know i i mean all of that man I, that's why i constantly stay up lose sleep through all of that because my already will be respected um because if i don't care about it who will like the artists don't look at that you know putting in work in a trunk sitting on the ground the actual ground like that's Little stuff like that, but should be respected. I get it, just uh, I stay. I remember I stayed up all night <laughs> trying to figure out how to use this thing, and so I made this like white at first, and then I was just gonna paint over. And I was like, oh jeez, how do you make a perfect star? There's no such thing, but um, it, 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 but the kids actually loved it. And that's what made me happy. So I was like, I, I guess I did something right. I was happy that I did do something right. Beyond, beyond this, you know, the goals as far as me doing thousands of things, like starting off at first, you know, I remember the first thing, like big things I started to do, like the, uh, the Black Expo, and then I went on to do the Taste of Charleston, Taste of Upstate, all that stuff. And then I went on to do like, I was like the first student to uh, paint at chapel, and I did that at the Charleston Chapel, man. I was like 1,200 students. I, was, I don't know how many students there was, but I painted. Uh, I did a tribute to Dr. King. Um, you know, I did, <laughs> I did stuff beneficial to other people and not to myself. Once, once I sit down and think about it, like, seriously. And it's crazy because I never like asked for something to ask stuff for. Like been like, yo, give me this or that or the third. Like I've done it because I knew it would be beneficial for somebody in the future. Like it would help out, get me to help, help out because even for these kids, like I literally, um, I remember I painted Aaron Baldwin and I got them free pizza and a uh, free haircut. And that was like beneficial. They could let me, even uh, downtown that, um, what is this? Uh, Salvatino's, that pizza, you know that pizza place? I painted their cabinet, so they got the kids like free pizza. So it's like, stuff like that, like just, I think that's like, yeah, good to do, I guess. Great greatest, 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 right, greatest success as, well, up here, but uh, my, my greatest success it has not come yet. Uh, it hasn't come yet, but one that I'm really, you know, kind of proud about is this book. So, this book here. Um, it was given to me by a friend. And that friend is older than me. And anybody who's watching, put together. Um, he's actually, I think, he, he's really old. He wrote this book. Really, and his son is a great, great man. Uh, <laughs> and what's crazy about it is his son is my professor. His father gave me a book because he liked my work. He invited me onto his house and literally, you know, gave me food, talked to me like not as a young artist, but literally as his friend. Like you have people who talk to you as like with the business voice. You know that everyone knows that business voice, but he talked to me as a friend. That 
is like the coolest thing to happen when there's an older person, an older person that's way beyond all been through all that stuff throughout life, seeing the world change and everything. And then I got, I mean, I got this book. And then when I went to, uh, when I did study abroad in Thailand, um, I met uh, Dr. Nairn, man, and he was just the coolest man. But he didn't talk to me as like a student. He talked to me as a friend. Uh, that, even with painting and all of that, that's like one of my like greatest like success to me. Um, people will never get how good that feels. Like they, because people will just take this time stuff like that for granted. Like they just say, "Oh, okay, I just you know whatever." It's an old dude, blah blah, whatever, man. But if you get respect for somebody who's, if you can double your age or triple your age, and they respect you. At, at a young age, dude, come on, man, that's that's better than, than any amount of money. Hey, that's better than any amount of money you can get. My my really aspiration is seriously uh, down to the go because I I did not I, I didn't interview you and I didn't I didn't act like I was you know, I didn't wear a collared shirt or a hat or like all that stuff that artists wear all that like all this nonsense is going on now like. I don't understand why people can't just be the way they are when they were born because I've had this shirt since I was whew, it's been a while. Like I had this shirt for a long time. And um I value like I value so much. Like I used I used to uh, always see things different than other people. And that that's beyond art and everything, all that stuff like that, because uh, who do you know when they see somebody drop a piece of trash would pick it up and throw it in the trash can or or, or say um, just, just go talk to random people with no type of and nothing. Just, just, just sit down and talk to them like you're 93 years old and you just want to get to know them. Or just hug people because you don't like shaking their hand. You just want to hug them because you want to let them know. Like beyond that, I, like, I have no idea what none of this is going. Like I really don't. But then I do because God like showing me stuff. It's not like I don't want to be like I want to be I don't want to care about I don't care about being known like I just want to make like make that strong impact not like like beyond music like beyond just just painting the picture man like beyond just painting the picture like something that that will start a reaction of people who just want to just just paint just because man don't even worry about you know finances or, or problems or struggles or or just you know everything. Because people, people, everybody, want, people want to be an artist until they got to eat, and then once they got to eat, they're like, Nah, bro, I'm about to go work here. <laughs> so, 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 nobody, they don't want to, they don't want to work, man. It's, it's something, man.